Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gertube of here bringing you another Minecraft World War 1 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and pulling the Gotha G4. The Gotha G4 was a heavy bomber used by the Luftstreitkraft Imperial German Air Service during World War 1. In March 1917, the G4 entered service with Calgo 1, which was re redesignated Calgo 3 upon receiving the new machines. And the G4s were soon to be put to use in Operation Turkenkreutz, the strategic bombing of London. This was delayed when practice missions revealed faulty engine bearings that had to be replaced and the prevailing winds were stronger than expected, requiring the addition of extra fuel tanks. Additionally, it was discovered that the design of the fuel system prevented the main tanks from being completely utilized, and this problem had to be addressed as well. Around 30 LVG-built G4s were fitted with the Hero engines and uh, 8mm Squanswus, uh, or squads, scores, you loose, something like that, uh, machine guns for Austro Hungarian service. Another one was experimentally fit with a 20mm Becker cannon for ground attack. Gothas were used in German strategic bombing during World War I. All surviving Gothas were destroyed in accordance with the terms of the Treaty of Versailles. Uh, the sole known exception was the one Gotha G4 in Polish possession. So, yeah, the Gotha 4, a uh, beast of a bomber, uh, really kind of the pinnacle of bombers, I would say, for the World War I uh, time frame. This aircraft here is really big, and for a World War I aircraft, really is <laughs> quite impressive. Um, what's really interesting about this vehicle is the sheer size of its wingspan compared to the length of its fuselage. Usually, it's about the Usually there's, you know, obviously the wings are usually longer than the actual fuselage, but this here uh, definitely uh, definitely is quite different, and you'll see here in a second we take a look at it. Um, but yeah, really nice looking aircraft. A lot of you guys have asked for this bomber for quite some time, so I'm happy to finally deliver it to you guys, and um, should be a fun build for sure for all of you to build. Anyways, let's go ahead and kind of jump in to take a look here at this uh, aircraft. I'm sure most of you guys are wanting to see it. As you can see here, we have a white and green two-tone camouflage here, paint scheme on the plane. Uh, there's plenty of pictures you can look up online of different Gothas that had different um, color schemes and different canvas and stuff like that. So definitely check those out. And if you want to do something different, then obviously go for it. There's even red ones. There's blue ones. It's... Kind of wild. World War One was wild when it came to painting their aircraft, that's for sure. But uh, starting off with, we have basically the fuselage here. Up here, we have a front-mounted, um, most likely an eight-millimeter machine gun uh, for the nose, and then right behind it, we have the pilot or the pilot, yes, the uh, pilot or area and all that stuff. Um, so my trap doors here acting all funky. Which please, please ignore those. Um, don't know why, but they like to. Uh, get all weird with uh, daylight sensors and stuff like that for some reason. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the front section here. We do have bombs mounted onto the aircraft as well. So you do have those um, on there uh, to kind of give it a little bit more of a bomber type look. Uh, the wings themselves, as I mentioned, has this huge wingspan for being a very short aircraft uh, in comparison. Really uh, kind of throws you off a little bit looking at it, but uh, according to dimensions, that's correct. So kind of weird. Uh, we do have the engines here mounted on both sides. One cool thing I did here with some models I saw of Gothas, they had the engine covers removed, whether it's just a modeler's choice or if there were actually Gothas that actually had their panels removed, not sure. Uh, but I think it kind of gives you a cool look inside the engine there and kind of adds a little bit more detail to that area. And uh, if you don't want that, you can just replicate what's on the other side of the engine um, to the outside there, just the you know, so you can kind of pick and choose what you want there. Have both engines exposed, kind of up to you. Uh, then we come back here, we have the rear machine gunner position located directly behind. And obviously the cabling here for the tail, the tail and all that stuff. And uh, we have basically the designations and stuff like that, markings and writing and stuff like that along the side of the fuselage. So overall, a really nice looking aircraft. I think it came out really good and it's going to make a great addition to any of your World War One maps as a strategic bomber for um, World War One Imperial Germany. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, move into our tutorial. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our tutorial, we're going ahead and start with Layer 1. A few things I want to mention before we go ahead and jump into this tutorial is um, in regards to how the structure of the tutorial is going to go. So we're going to be starting with Layer 1. This is a 
totally in-flight version for the aircraft, so this is not intended to be the landed version due to the fact that the landed version does sit at a slant and I would have to make a completely different design for that to actually be realistic. Um, so this is only the in-flight model. Um, so just take that into account when we start building this. Um, and layer one here is going to be the lowest point of the aircraft, so as long as you have clearance, you're pretty much good to put this over your battlefields or wherever you're putting this. Uh, one thing I want to mention also is that if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll have half the layer, which is going to be the left side built already, and then I'll show you guys how to build the right side and the center line of the aircraft, and then it'll be up to you guys in between layers to go ahead and copy it over. These first few layers here are going to be pretty easy, so you're going to get a good idea of what we're kind of doing here, and it should make pretty much more sense as we go along. The build's completely symmetrical, so whatever we do on one side is going to be the same on the air side, so there's no point in really repeating it over again. Just, you guys can eye it over, basically I copy it over and pretty, pretty much good to go. So, let's jump into it. Um, so to get started here, we have our spacing. Now we have the landing gear here is what we're going to be starting with. The landing gear is fixed, so it does not retract. Um, so the landing gear is going to be sticking out. Now, for this, what we need to do to get started with here is we need to make sure that we have a space of nine that's going to be in between our individual landing gears for um, both sides here. So to begin with, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a narrow brick upside down stair, followed by an upside down stair right behind it. So you have something that looks like this. We're going to go ahead and go to the narrow brick stair you want facing toward the rear. So this one right here is going to be toward the rear of our aircraft, which is going to be going in that direction. So we're going to place down three polished ASI top slabs. We're then going to place down a narrow brick upside down stair on this side, narrow brick upside down stair directly behind it. We then want to place down a dark oak wood trap door, come off those two polished ASI slate top slabs, just like that to go ahead and finish that off. And again, uh, that's pretty much it for what we're going to be doing here. Going to go ahead and build over a space of nine to the left. You can do it to the right if you want to as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, this is our right side here, row nine over, and then we have our left uh, landing gear that you guys will build for yourselves. So you get sure you get something that looks like this right here. Again, there is a space of nine in between it. Make sure you do a space of nine. Make sure it's not off. Double check your counts because if it is off, your whole build is going to be off and you have to restart. So just make sure that's correct. And once you guys are for sure, you're good to go. Uh, then you can go ahead and move on to your next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and very simply go to our narrow brick stairs. We're going to place down two stairs on top of them, back to back like this to go ahead and complete our wheel shapes like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down an end rod on top of these two dark oak wood trap doors, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall coming off of them going toward the front there, and then coming off the end rods going toward the back, we're going to place down a uh, zombie head like that on both ends. With that complete, that's pretty much all we really need to do here, and then obviously the same thing is going to be copied over the air side. Uh, I will move into an optional addition, which is to put these wheels onto the aircraft, so if you do want to have some wheels on it, you'll have the ability to do that uh, as well, doing this little banner trick. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move into real quick, showing you guys how to make those banners. Again, they're optional. Um, you don't have to include them if you don't want to, but I'm going to show you guys how to make them just in case you do want to include them. So with that, let's move into the banners. So for our banners here, real simple. All we're going to do is go into a loom. We're going to need two black banners, two white dye, and two black dye. We're going to place our black banner into our loom. We're going to go ahead and then place down our white dye, and we're going to go ahead and select this line here on the left side, and that'll be our first banner. We're going to go ahead and basically do the same thing with, the, with this black banner here white banner and this time we're going to select the line over here on the right side so we have two banners that are basically complete opposites from each other like that we're going to then place down whichever banner you want so we'll start with the left the line on the left here uh, we're going to put that into our loom and then black dye we then want to go ahead and select the corresponding corners so for this our lines on the left side so we're going to select the bottom left corner tie that black and the top left corner like that and we get our first banner same thing for this banner right here except it's on the right side so the bottom right corner and the top left corner are going to be dyed black, and we get our two banners that look like this. We then want to go ahead and place down the banners here with the whites facing toward each other. On the inside here, we're going to make sure that the white is facing toward the mossy cobblestone wall on both sides there. And then again, the same thing for the wheel over here on that side like that. And that's really all you need to do there for the wheels. You're going to go ahead and basically do that for uh, your wheels here if you are including the banners. And once you have that complete, that's going to wrap up your layer number two. And with that, let's move into layer number three. Alright guys, moved into our next layer, we have layer 3. For layer 3 to get started with, we're going to go ahead and go to our landing gear here, and we want to go ahead and go basically up from this mossy cobblestone wall, from the mossy cobblestone wall going up and at an angle to both sides like that. And we're going to go ahead and do this to each one of these mossy cobblestone walls like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak top slab between 
these mossy cobblestone walls and then a row three that goes across the middle there so you get basically a cross shape like that. After that's done, go ahead and go into the outside here. We're going to go ahead and go off of this dark oak wood slab. We're going to place down one and two dark oak wood trap doors. Note they're on the top portion of the slab right here and not down at this level. Make sure they're at the top portion there like so. We're then going to go ahead and go to the mossy cobblestone wall that's toward the back here. And we're going to place down one and two dark oak wood slabs coming off of it as well. We're then going to place down an additional dark oak wood slab that comes off this slab going toward the rear. So again, our rear of aircraft going to be that direction there. We're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab, followed by a dark oak wood trap door to both sides like so. After that's done, we're going to start working our way toward the middle. For this, we're going to go ahead and go off of these uh, mossy cobblestone, or the dark oak wood slab here and mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to place down one and two dark oak wood trap doors out, one and two like so. We then want to take our gray concrete. We're going to place down a row of one and two of gray concrete, a wither skeleton skull, mossy cobblestone wall, or sorry, a stone brick wall, and then a dark oak wood trap door closed on the back of this wall like so. We then want to go ahead and place down two dark oak wood fence gates coming off this, these two gray concrete blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down there two gray concrete blocks here, a wither skeleton skull, stone brick wall, and a dark oak wood trap door closed like that. And then coming off this uh, gray concrete, these two gray concrete blocks, we're going to place down two dark oak wood trap doors. And this right here is going to be the middle point and that's going to connect both sides together like so. When this is finished here, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak trap door come out this um, wither skeleton skull and we're going to go ahead and flick it so that it's facing toward the, actually my bad. We're going to start with, we're going to go ahead and skip a space of one from the wither skeleton skull, so this space right here. We're going to place down a stone brick wall, coming off of it we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door, we're going to close it like so. And then we're going to place down one and two great concrete blocks forward and then a skip wither skeleton skull on the end there. On the sides of these great concrete blocks, we're going to place down stone buttons here on both sides on these front ones. And there's also going to be stone buttons here on the bottom of those great concrete blocks. And also on the back here as well for these great concrete blocks also, we're going to have stone buttons here on the bottom. And once you have that all finished there, that's going to do it for the front section here. We then want to go ahead and go to our middle space and go ahead and go off this dark oak wood trap door. We're going to place down one. Let me go ahead and grab a different color block here so a little bit easier to tell apart. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go off of the dark oak wood trapdoor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Yellow wool blocks back. So again, that is 12 blocks back. And then on our 13th block right here, we're going to place down a polished as a top slab. Again, make sure it's a top slab, not a half slab. And then we can go ahead and delete this uh, line of blocks. And we have this layer complete. Here's what layer 3 looks like from above. And as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of some shape going on here. Anyways, that right there is it for layer 3. Let's move on to layer number 4. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer. We have layer 4. Uh, for layer 4, we start to get into the fuselage here. And we also get basically the whole... Uh, base wing complete so we do have quite a bit going on here for this layer so just make sure that you're paying close attention and um, everything like that. Remember one wrong block placement and you could be messing up everything. So to go ahead and get started with here we're going to go to this dark oak wood trapdoor so we have the two right here in this space we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks on top of those two dark oak wood trapdoors. We're going to place down a row two of smooth quartz uh, full blocks going forward followed by a quartz top slab Again, we're going to be using smooth quartz the whole build, so if I just say quartz, please uh, just use smooth quartz because it creates a nice better transition between the blocks instead of having those nasty lines. Uh, we're then going to place down a dark oak with top slab and then two dark oak with trap doors coming off the, the uh, top slab like so. Going ahead and going toward the rear now, uh, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five green terracotta blocks like that going off these two here, so you should have a total of a row of seven. We're then going to place down three dark oak wood top slabs, a quartz top slab here, a iron trap door, a polished andesite top slab, a polished andesite half slab, and then an end rod on top of this polished andesite top slab from the previous layer. And it should all line up something like that. If it does not, then uh, something is misplaced on your end and, uh, you know, I guess it's good to catch it now before later on. Um, but anyways, once that's done, we're going to then take our grindstones. We're going to place down two grindstones here on top of these two uh, forward uh, bombs, or these forward gray concrete blocks. And we want to go and then go to the sides of them, and we're going to place down dark oak with signs. So one and two, just like that. 
from that, we're going to go ahead and take our quartz top slab. We're going to place down a quartz top slab, followed by two quartz full blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five green terracotta blocks, a mossy cobblestone wall, a nether brick wall, and then we want to go ahead and go off of the nether brick wall. We're going to place down a zombie head, and then an end rod coming off this zombie head, and then a zombie head coming off this green terracotta block there. And that right there is going to wrap up what we have there for the fuselage. Moving into the wings, we're going to go ahead and go to these smooth cord blocks here. We're going to place down a row of four of daylight detectors out to the side here. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of four of dark oak wood slabs directly behind it. We're going to then place down a row of uh, four there of daylight detectors. Make sure to take careful note that any fence gates or any trap doors or anything like that that are underneath these uh, detectors will uh, basically cause them to open. So uh, just make sure that you close them back up or else your build's going to look a little funky. Uh, we then want to place down dark oak wood trap doors coming off these daylight detectors and again we're going to close them. So it uh, looks like this here for the wing. After that's done we're going to place down a row of four of green terracotta. Going across that space there. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of four of black concrete in the middle here. And another row of four of green terracotta right alongside it. On both sides, coming off the black concrete, we're going to place down a dark oak wood up downstairs. So, one right here, and one back here. And then we want to go ahead and go to the sides of the stair. And the sides of the stair here, we're going to place down a zombie head on those two sides of each of those stairs. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of three of daylight detectors. Coming off that green terracotta block there. And our next row here, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs, and then a dark oak wood stairs. So for this, we're going to place down one, two, three dark oak wood slabs, a dark oak wood stair, and then a dark oak wood slab like that. Uh, we're going to then transition to three dark oak wood top slabs. So one, two, and three. So it should look something like this so far. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of daylight detectors right behind us, so one, two, daylight detectors, fall by a row of three of dark oak wood slabs, one, two, three, and then we're going to have a longer row here of dark oak wood top slabs, and this row here is going to be a total of 11. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dark oak wood slabs like that out the side. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a Dark oak wood trapdoor come off this daylight detector. Again, make sure to close it. We're going to place down a second daylight detector next to it, followed by a dark oak wood stair, which will be facing, or sorry, my bad, a, another daylight detector. So there's going to be two daylight detectors there. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood stair, which we're going to have facing this direction, like so. After the dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab. And we're going to place down another row of 11 of dark oak wood top slabs going out to the side there. For our next row, uh, going ahead and going off of the second daylight detector here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of four of dark oak wood slabs. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine dark oak wood top slabs. After that, uh, our next row, we're going to go to our second dark oak wood top slab. So right here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab like that. Fall by a row of three of spruce wood top slabs. And then we want to place down four spruce wood trap doors to the side there, like so. And obviously, again, you're going to take wood in the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you should get something that looks like this here from up above for the aircraft. That right there is going to complete layer number four for the build. And with that, let's move into our nice layer, layer number five. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 5. Layer 5, we do have a lot going on as well, so again, be sure to pay close attention. We also are using barrier blocks um, for this layer, so if you do not have access to barrier blocks, then you will need to find a substitute for it. Um, I do recommend iron bars, though iron bars can be really clunky and very chunky. Um, so I definitely recommend to use the barrier blocks and the button techniques for some of our cables that are going to be running um, in between our basically braces here uh, but uh, just do the best you can with what you got here uh, but again 
definitely you want to use buttons if you have the option to. Anyways, first to go ahead and get started with. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to the nose here of the aircraft on top of this dark liquid trapdoor in the very front here. We're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of it. We then want to place down a quartz block going forward from the green terracotta block. And then going back from the green terracotta block, we're going to place down a black concrete block. A nether green terracotta block. Black concrete. A redstone or peel with the notches flicked out to the sides there. A polished dance block. One, two, three, and four green terracotta blocks. A stone brick stair facing with the back facing toward the rear. One, two, three, four, and five green terracotta blocks coming off that stair. A smooth quartz block. A black concrete block. Smooth quartz block. Black concrete block. And one, two, and three smooth quartz blocks with a quartz top slab on the end there. After that's done, going ahead and going to our road to the side. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on the side of this quartz block. Followed by a mossy cobblestone wall, back from it, a dark oak wood stair, green terracotta block, and a quartz stair, like so. Going ahead and going behind the stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four smooth quartz blocks, then one, two, three green terracotta blocks, then one, two, three nether brick walls, a mossy cobblestone wall, and then one and two nether brick walls, like that, to go ahead and finish that off. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood buttons and dark oak wood signs. We're going to place down a dark oak wood button on this black concrete block, a dark oak wood sign, a dark oak wood button, and then a another dark oak wood button just like that for the tail here and this would mimic some writing here that's on the rear tail section. When that's all complete there we're going to go ahead and go back up to our front here. Come off this cord stair we're going to place down a uh, diorite wall and we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves a barrier block. Now for our barrier blocks here, we're going to go ahead and go back to this first narrow brick wall in this row of three. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at the side. We're then going to go ahead and take our barrier blocks. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four barrier blocks. And to the sides of those barrier blocks, we're going to be going ahead and uh, placing down one, two, three, four uh, stone buttons just like that. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of one, two, three uh, more barrier blocks and then three stone buttons on top. And then to the side here, one, two, three, four barrier blocks and then one, two, three, four stone buttons on top. So uh, again, it's a little funky. I know, just make sure you uh, pay close attention to what we got kind of going on there uh, for the barrier blocks, but it should look something like this here from up above. Once you have that all done, uh, we're going to then place down a barrier block uh, on top of this trapdoor here, next to the fuselage. We're going to go ahead and skip some faces over, barrier block over here, barrier block, barrier block. So kind of in those corners there, and we're going to have stone buttons on the sides facing toward the front and rear of the fuselage. So just like that. When we get to our engine section here, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our Mossy cobblestone walls, and we're going to place them down on top of these zombie heads. So in our four corners. And we want to go ahead and then place down a green terracotta block between our mossy cobblestone walls. In both the front and the back. And in the front side here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trapdoor coming off that green terracotta block. And then dark oak wood signs around the, or basically on the front here of those mossy cobblestone walls like that. Now when you get to this, you get to, yeah, when you get to the section here, uh, you can decide to choose between having the engine open or having it closed. If you want to have the engine completely closed off, then you're going to go ahead and just fill in a solid row of four of black concrete here in the center. So it would be a solid row of four like this. If you do want to have the engine open like I have for this model over here, we're going to be going ahead and grabbing our spruce wood planks here and our green terracotta. We're going to place down one green terracotta block and then one, two, three and four spruce wood top slabs back. After that, um, on the inside here, we're going to have the engine closed. So we're going to place down one and two green terracotta blocks here, a dark oak wood upside down stair, and a green terracotta block behind the dark oak wood upside down stair. If you were wanting to close the engine off, you'd mimic the same exact thing over here on this side, and you'd be good to go. For having the engine open, we're going to place down a green terracotta block behind this mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to go ahead and go to the side of those spruce wood slabs here. We're going to grab a spruce wood sign, a black bed, and also an item frame. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of spruce wood signs along 
those slabs, item frames in those slabs, and we're going to place down black beds uh, in the item frames, like so, and have them facing upwards like that. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and transition into our wing sections here again. We're going to go to each one of these dark oak grid, or these two dark oak stairs here. We're going to place down dark oak grid fence posts on top of them. We then want to go ahead and go to this section right here. So this section where it kind of starts to bend back. We're going to place down a dark oak fence post here and one back here. And then after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a... We're going to skip a space of four out to the sides. So one, two, three, four. And then our fifth one here, we're going to place down a dark oak fence post. Or sorry, a stone brick wall or mossy cobblestone wall on the back. Dark oak fence post in the front, and then one more dark oak fence post to the side there, just like that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak trapdoors and some green carpet. We're also going to need uh, our barrier blocks again and also our stone buttons. Now, for this, what we're going to do is we're going to go, ahead and go to each one of these fence posts, so right next to them, we're going to, go ahead and place down a barrier block. And this is going to be right next to each one of these fence posts and this mossy cobblestone wall. And just like we did before, we're going to have stone buttons here facing toward the rear and back of the blocks. So, just like that. When we have that all complete, uh, we're going to go ahead and then take our green carpet. And we're going to basically place down green carpet wherever we can. So, for this, we're going to go ahead and place down two rows of three of green carpet right here. And then a row of two, or sorry, just a one block hit, one green carpet there in the middle. And then we're going to place down one more green carpet right here. We're going to then go out a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven dark oak with trap doors. And then we're going to have one, we're going to have two green carpets here on the leading edge, then two green carpets right there, one right here, one green carpet here, and a dark oak wood trap door right, right there, closed like that. So you get something that looks like this from the top of the wing there. I know a little confusing, and I will. Hold a barrier block so you can see the exact placement of all the barrier blocks. Um, so again, it looks something like this here for our wing. Uh, the barrier blocks do make it a little confusing, but trust me, they uh, definitely look better for the cabling and all that. So that right there is going to complete that. And with that, that will wrap up what we have here for this layer. Everything's pretty much good to go. And that right there will complete layer number five for the build. Let's move into layer number six. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer 6. For layer 6 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a quartz stair on top of this quartz full block, followed by a smooth quartz block, a black concrete block, a green terracotta block, another black concrete block with a dark oak fence gate coming off that block, and we want to have the fence gate opened up toward it like so. We're then going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block on top of this base here, followed by a gray banner coming off like that to go ahead and create the pilot seat here. From this green terracotta block we're going to go ahead and go additional three green terracotta blocks back and we're going to go ahead and place down a light gray banner on this side for basically the rear gunner section. After that uh, rear gunner section here we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, and five green terracotta blocks, a smooth quartz block, two quart smooth quartz slabs, and then one, two, three, four smooth quartz blocks, and then a smooth quartz upside down stair, and that's going to complete your stair line there for the aircraft. From this point here, uh, we're going to go ahead and then go out to the sides. So start with the nose here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off this quartz stair, followed by a die right wall behind it, and then a smooth quartz upside down stair like so. We then want to place down a green terracotta block, followed by a additional quartz upside down stair, and then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five smooth quartz blocks back, then one, two, and three green terracotta blocks, a narrow brick wall, two green or two mossy cobblestone walls, a zombie head on top of this narrow brick wall here, and then one on top of this narrow brick wall as well at a slight angle like that toward the fuselage. We then want to go ahead and go to this back space here, coming off this first quartz uh, block, we're going to place down two quartz slabs to the side, we're going to go ahead and then place down one, two, three, four quartz slabs. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and then take our polished diorite slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four. Sorry, three diorite slabs there. And then a quartz stair, like this, followed by a quartz slab coming off that quartz stair. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves skeleton schools on these 
two last two di polished diorite slabs. We're going to place down two skeleton schools, and then two diorite slabs coming off the side there like that. And we then want to go ahead and go to the inside here of this smooth quartz block on both sides. We're going to place down a stone button and then a birch wood sign there on the sides of that upside down quartz stair. With that all complete there, that is going to wrap up our tail section and it's time to move into our wings here. So for this section, we're going to go ahead and go up from these barrier blocks. So up like this and then over in the space in between them. And we're going to do the same thing right there. Now we want to go and then take our stone buttons and we're going to place them down here on the sides of these barrier blocks. So just like that. Again, here's a view of where, how our barrier blocks are positioned and you can see where the stone buttons are kind of in retrospect to them. Go ahead and uh, let them disappear here in a second and this is the design you will have here. So again, pretty uh, straightforward and simple there. Once that's done, go ahead and move them back to our engines here. We're going to place down a black concrete block there. Uh, on the center block in the front, followed by a ladder, mossy cobblestone walls to both sides, and also mossy cobblestone walls on these two on the back. We're going to go ahead and then place down a green terracotta block in between those mossy cobblestone walls on the back here, followed by a stripped spruce wood log coming off of it, and then a zombie head, which is going to be come off the stripped spruce wood log like so. Then on the inside here for our engine cover, we're going to place down a green terracotta block, a black concrete block, that black concrete block is going to have a ladder on the side of it. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood upside down stair right after it, and then a another green terracotta block like so. On the other side here, we have our open engine. Uh, we're going to have a green terracotta block right here. And we're going to go and then grab our anvils, and we're going to place down a row of four of anvils along the center here. And then come off the sides of the anvils themselves, we're going to go and grab wither skeleton schools, and we're going to place down a row of three of their skeleton schools on those three exposed anvils. And that right there is going to pretty much complete your uh, engine design here. Actually, my bad. One quick thing we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna place on a dark oak wood stair with this mossy cobbles or this green terracotta block. Is. So dark oak wood stair here and a dark oak wood sign there on the side. So that right there will pretty much wrap up our kind of covers there for those engines and we're gonna go and continue our work here on um, this section. Now one thing I also want to mention is from the previous layer, what I did forget to do is that on the inside here, I did forget to place down barrier blocks next to these two dark, dark oak wood fence posts, so make sure that you do include those as well, um, so that we uh, we have those. Now when we get to this point here, uh, we're going to go, and go up from this barrier block, and we're going to go and do one over. Now we can put another barrier block right here, but we can't actually put a stone button on the side of it due to the engine, and it kind of it's in our space there. So you only need this one barrier block located right here. And again, like before, we're going to place a stone button on this side uh, of it. So just like that, again, for the front and back sections. Now when we get to this section here, we do have a diagonal here. So for this, we're going to go, and go up from this one, over one, and then up from this one, and over one. So you do have a little bit of an offset here. Um, again, just make sure that you are paying close attention to that and we're going to do the same thing back here So this one's going to go up to the side and this one's going to go up into the side like that And again, just like we did before on the sides here We're going to place down those stone buttons and also our dark oak fence posts here are going to go up by one For each of these fence posts. So we'll just go ahead and bring these up by one and also our mossy cobblestone wall We have our last section here again. It's going to be just like the section that connects to the fuselage where our two uh, barrier blocks meet up like this. Uh, two stone buttons on the outsides here, and same thing over there. And that right there will uh, basically complete this layer. We have our stone buttons in place, and you can see we start to have some of the cables and the rigging and stuff like that uh, for supporting the wings. And anyways, that right there is going to do it for this layer. And uh, actually, one quick thing we're going to add here is that we do have two dark oak wood buttons on these two green terracotta blocks. So make sure that does get transferred over to both sides. Uh, but anyways, after that, that is going to do it there for layer six of the build. With that, let's move into layer number seven. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number seven. Layer seven, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to the front nose here. And on top of this smooth quartz block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate and open up toward the front of the aircraft. Coming off that fence gate, we're going to place down a dark oak sign. We then want to go ahead and skip the space where the black concrete block is, and we're going to place down a narrow brick slab. After that narrow brick slab, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass block. We're going to go ahead and skip back to this section here, right behind the uh, pilot seat. We're going to place down three daylight detectors, followed by a narrow brick slab. 
We're going to leave the space right here for the rear gunner open. And on this green terracotta block, we're going to place down a dark open fence gate opened up toward the rear of the aircraft. We're going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector, two dark open trap doors, and that right there will do it for our forward fuselage. Moving to the tail, we're going to go ahead and go to the second quartz slab here. We're going to place down a quart, or the second quartz full block. We're going to place down a slab on top of it, followed by two quartz full blocks behind it. We're going to go ahead and go up from this uh, quartz full block here. We're going to place down a uh, stone button. And we're going to go ahead and also place down a pillared quartz block coming off this smooth quartz block like that on the end there. So you two should look something just like that. We then want to grab our quartz slabs. We're going to go ahead and go up from this diorite slab with a slab. So kind of up like that. And then we're going to place down a top slab coming off this quartz slab. Again, going up at an angle like so. After that's all done there, uh, going ahead and focusing our attention back to our fuselage here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a dark or a wither skeleton skull. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on this direct wall at a 45 degree angle. So just like that. We're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick slab. Followed by a nether, or nether skeleton skull at a 45 degree angle right here. And then on both sides of this light gray stained glass block, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane. A iron trap door behind it. We then want to place down a uh, skeleton skull. And for this we're going to place down a block here to the side. And a skeleton skull coming off the side of the block. So just like that. We don't want it on the block like this. We want it kind of floating in off to the side here. So that is why we place the block here to the side and then we place down the skeleton skull coming off of it. We're then going to place down two dark oak wood trap doors here and close them again because our daylight sensors will cause them to stay open. We're going to go ahead and then do the same thing here for our skeleton skull. And we want to go and then place down a dark oak wood fence post like this, a narrow brick slab, and a dark oak wood fence post again. On the nether brick slab, we're going to place down a wooden trap door, closed like so. And then a dark oak wood sign on the two dark oak wood fence posts like that. Do go ahead and uh, or, uh, basically complete that rear gunner section. Um, after that, we also want to go ahead and go to the bottom. Uh, one thing I forgot to add as well was on the bottom of this um, top slab here. Or... Um, on the bottom of this slab right here, sorry. Um, we are supposed to have a lever that faced that direction there, so make sure to go ahead and add that uh, lever on. So it should be on this slab right here on the bottom of it, connecting that top slab there. Um, that's for that little re rear tail hook that basically acts as the back landing gear. Um, so with that out of the way, we're going to now focus our attention here to the cables. So for the cables here, all we're going to do is go ahead and go on top of the two barrier blocks that we placed in the previous layer. And we're going to place down two more barrier blocks on top of it and stone buttons come off the sides facing toward the front and rear. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing here for the inside. So this section here, we're going to place down, so the forward one, we're going to place down a barrier block here, stone button on the side, and we're going to go ahead and go one forward and at an angle like this and then a stone button. So it's going to be a little bit different there, but for this rear one, we're going to go up one and to the side one two stone buttons and then same thing here on top of those barrier blocks two stone buttons like so and then on top of these ones here two barrier blocks two stone buttons the sides so pretty simple stuff there and we want to go and then place down a dark fence post on top of each one of these fence posts and also an narrow mossy cobblestone wall on top of our mossy cobblestone wall there and with that complete all we need to focus on now is our engine. So for our engine here, we're going to place down a narrow black concrete block here, ladder, lots of cobblestone walls to both sides, and we're going to go ahead and place down a dark wood stair, one, two, regular stairs, and then narrow corner stairs. So you have a corner stair, two regular stairs, and narrow corner stair, and then a lots of cobblestone wall in the back here. Same thing over here on this side, lots of cobblestone wall, and in between it, dark wood stair, two regular stairs, and then a corner stair. So Four stairs on both sides and two uh, stairs there in the middle. And we're going to then fill in the space here with one, two, three, three, four, and five green terracotta blocks. And we can go ahead and really simply uh, just go ahead and build the propellers. So might as well, we have a majority of the engine done, so let's go ahead and knock them out. So the, for the propellers here, real simple. We're going to go ahead and go down with a top slab, followed by a half slab, and then another top slab like that. Same thing up here half slab, top slab, half slab. So you get a design that looks like this here for your props on the back. 
And we're going to go do the same thing over here. So top slab going down toward the fuselage, half slab, and uh, top slab, half slab, and then up here, half slab, top slab, and a half slab like that. So that right there will basically complete your props there on the engines. And with that, that's all you need to do for this layer. That is going to conclude layer number seven for the build. And as you can see, we are pretty much almost done with the fuselage. We just got a few things to go with just adding the guns and some of the braces and stuff like that that connect the fuselage to the top wing. Um, but for the most part, we're definitely getting there and we're almost done. Anyways, let's move on to our next layer, layer number eight. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number eight. So for layer eight, to go ahead and get started with here, for our frontal machine gun here, we're going to place down an arabic slab on top of this dark oak wood fence gate, a spruce wood slab directly behind it. On the side of the spruce wood slab, we're going to place down a spruce wood sign, and on the side of the narrow brick slab, we're going to place down a uh, dark oak wood sign. Also, come off the narrow brick slab toward the front here, we're going to place down an end rod. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a lever, and on the bottom here of the spruce wood slab, we're going to place down a lever and make sure it's facing toward the rear like so. And on the left side here, left side only of the narrow brick slab, we're going to place down an item frame, and in the item frame, we're going to place down a black bed with the pillow facing toward the front there, just like that. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and then continue our way back the fu on the fuselage. We're going to place down a diorite wall on top of the skeleton skulls here. So each one of those skeleton skulls like that. And then we have our rear gunner position. For this, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab on top of this dark oak fence gate. A end rod coming off that slab. And a spruce wood slab coming off the narrow brick slab toward the front. We then want to place down a zombie head on top of these two dark oak fence posts. And then a end rod in between them. With that done, going ahead and moving back to our tail, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on top of this um, smooth quartz block. Or sorry, a quartz upside down stair on top of this quartz block, followed by two pillared quartz blocks directly behind it. And then on the first pillared quartz block here, we're going to place down a quartz slab coming off it like that to the sides. With that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then uh, turn our attention here to the sides. So for the sides here, we're going to go ahead and go to our barrier blocks and like we did before, we're going to place down two barrier blocks on top of the previous layer. And then this time we're going to go ahead and basically replicate what we did on the bottom here. So the stone buttons here to the side, to the sides, basically left and right. And this is going to basically start to create the X shape here for the cables which we're going for. For this section here, a little bit different. Uh, for this, we're only going to be placing down the uh, barrier block on top of this one and stone bun to the side. So we're not going to place down a barrier block on top of this one. And then on the back, it's going to be the same thing. So only a barrier block on the on this one right here and then a stone button. After that, uh, we're going to then place down a dark grid fence post up on top of these ones like so. Going up again on top of these barrier blocks here, we're going to place down another one. Stone buttons here to the sides. Another dark oak wood fence post here, going up from these two. And two barrier blocks here, two barrier blocks here. Stone buttons here to the sides. And over here as well. We then want to place down a monster cup stone wall here. Dark oak wood fence post on top of those two fence posts, like that. And that right there will complete layer number eight for the build. And actually, one last thing, uh, we do want to go ahead and go to these dark oak wood corner stairs in the front here. We're going to place down two diorite walls, and we're also going to place down two diorite walls on top of these corner stairs here on the back of the engine. And with that done, that is now going to complete what we have for layer number um, eight. And with that, let's move into our next layer, layer number nine. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number nine. Layer 9 is one of our last layers. We have basically layers 10 and 11 left. So we are pretty much almost there and uh, almost good to go. So for layer 9 to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go ahead and uh, place down a block that's going to basically go up from these direct walls. So it's going to kind of go up like so. And on the sides here of this block, on both sides, we're going to place down a skeleton skull connecting to it and then we're going to delete the block. So it's going to continue to create this angled type look here for these struts here uh, on the fuselage going up to the top wing. Now in between the skeleton skulls, we're going to place down two dark oak wood trap doors, same thing over here, and then two dark oak wood trap doors in the middle. Going out to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I believe nine. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and double check here to make sure the count is correct. And let's see that that's eleven out to the side here, and then eleven. So yep. So then block. So basically, from the center block out should be eleven. So the center block, and then we have ten dark oak trap doors. Center block, ten dark oak trap doors, and this second row is going to mimic the same length all the way out to the side. Now once that's done, we're going to go up from these direct walls, and we're going to go ahead and place down a direct wall here in the middle. So just like that on both sides. And we're going to move back into our barrier blocks. So our barrier blocks here, we're going to go ahead and go up from these stone buttons, like this on both sides, and we're going to place down our stone buttons here on the sides facing toward the front. So we're going to basically create that X shape that uh, I've talked about in the previous layer. And we're going to go ahead and basically do this for uh, all our sides here. And for this section, uh, what we're going to do for this is we can actually do it for both sides. So we're going to have a barrier block here, and a barrier block here, and our stone buttons like that. And same thing over here, uh, one barrier block here, and one up here in this corner space. And then our stone buttons again to the sides there like that. Uh, our dark oak wood fence posts are all going to go up by one more. and also our mossy cobblestone walls and again we're going to continue with this uh, cabling so up from the button here stone button on the side facing toward the, f the rear and same thing over here and again you guys kind of get the basic understanding of what we're doing here pretty straightforward and then right here coming off this fence post stone button stone button stone button and our last one stone button and with that all done, we're going to then move our attention to the tail here. So our tail, uh, we're going to place down a quartz slab on top of this quartz upside down stair. A pillared quartz block coming off that quartz slab and a quartz stair on the back of this. And I also have this little uh, kind of imperial or German empire flag right here. I completely forget how to make it and uh, so I won't be showing that, but you guys can look up a tutorial for it. Or you can just basically make a banner for a white banner with a black cross for it, whatever you want to do to kind of add the German cross there onto the vertical stabilizer. Anyways, that right there is going to complete what we have here for uh, layer number 9. With that, we're going to move into layer 10, which is going to get into basically the structuring here of these wings. We're going to basically build an air set pretty much that's identical to the bottom wings. So, uh, fun stuff there. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into layer number 10. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 10. For layer 10 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, dark oak wood uh, or two or a green terracotta block on top of this first dark oak wood slab here in the middle. Coming off of it, we're, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on both sides and then a daylight detector here on the rear. Going ahead and going to the side here, we're going to place down a narrow dark oak wood stair, green terracotta block, dark oak wood stair, and a daylight detector like that back. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides of the stairs, and we're going to go ahead and go with a row of seven of daylight detectors to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out to the side of that first stair. We're going to go then take dark oak wood slabs, and we're going to go and do a row of twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve dark oak wood slabs to the side there. Our next row here, we're going to go ahead and do another row of seven of daylight detectors so one two three four five six seven and again any dark oak wood trap doors that do open up make sure you do close them um it's a little bit frustrating i know but kind of part of the process here and i'm breaking barrier blocks and all kinds of stuff here so uh, i'm just making a big mess so <laughs> is all it is um yeah just make sure you close those you may have to break some blocks to kind of get in there it is uh definitely a bit funky but kind of necessary for the build. Um, anyways, once we get those done, uh, we then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six dark oak wood slabs there to the side. Now, after that row of six, we're going to go ahead and go up with our top slabs. And for these, we're going to go ahead and place down two top slabs to begin with. So one and two top slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down dark oak wood upside down stair like so. One, two, three, four dark oak wood top slabs 
a dark liquid stair and we want to go ahead and then place down a additional dark liquid top slab and then um, we'll save that for the next row um, so for our next row here starting off with from the daylight detectors here we're going to go ahead and take our dark liquid trap doors and place down one two three four five across and we're going to close these up and with that done actually sorry this going to be a row of six there we're going to then place down a row of three of daylight detectors one two three and we're going to then take our dark liquid slabs one two one two three four so after those uh four dark liquid slabs we're going to then take our dark liquid top slabs and we're going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine dark liquid top slabs basically till we're flush there with the end actually let me go ahead and count this so nine and then we're going to go one more to make it ten now uh at this point we're going to then place down a uh skeleton or a zombie head coming off this dark liquid slab like that in the corner there our next row uh we're going to go ahead and start off and go ahead and go into this first dark liquid slab here we're going to place down a dark liquid trap door coming off of it we then want to place down a row of one two three and four dark liquid slabs like that across and then we're gonna go ahead and go up one two three four five six seven eight nine dark liquid top slabs and actually our second top slab here is gonna be a upside down stair like this and then our uh, other top slab here is gonna be a upside down stair as well with the back facing toward the rear and this one also should be like so with the back of the stair facing toward the rear and it looks like I'm probably going to be stuck here for eternity. There we go. Um, so just like that. And then uh, on the... That's actually it. So that's all we got there for that. Uh, our next row, we're going to go ahead and go to this stair here. We're going to place down a top slab. And we're going to go ahead and then take our spruce wood slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight top slabs out to the side there. We're going to go ahead and then take our spruce wood trapdoors and on the last four we're going to place down spruce wood trapdoors like that going back from it and that right there is going to basically wrap up what we have there for the wings and that should be all we have here for this layer layer 10 so that's going to do it there for layer 10 and with that we're going to move into our last final layer layer number 11. all right guys we went into layer 11 it's pretty straightforward and simple to start off with, we're going to place down a end rod on top of this dark dark liquid stair up here on the top middle. And then we're going to go ahead and go all the way out here to the tips of our wings here. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two green carpet, so one, two, on the inside here, followed by row of three, one, two, three. Then we're going to go ahead and do one carpet, a black carpet, and then two green carpets, followed by a row of three of black carpet, a green carpet, black carpet, green carpet and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a green carpet dark liquid trapdoor green carpet then a green carpet two dark liquid trapdoors and we're gonna go ahead and repeat this a total of three or two more times so green carpet two dark liquid trapdoors green carpet two dark liquid trapdoors and then two dark liquid trapdoors on the last two slabs here and then on top of this spruce wood top slab and um, spruce wood trapdoor we're gonna place down two stone buttons just like that and that right there is going to complete my design for the Gotha G4 Heavy Bomber. Hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This can be the name from the side of the build to my channel where this video if this does appear on any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. And um, with that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Miguel204, and I'll see you guys next time.